Hey YouTube, this is uh, King Cobra JFS with another video. Now I read a comment on a video, it wasn't one of mine, it was a different YouTuber. And um, Cradle of Filth just got to live in a concert in um, Australia, and it's really cold there. And it says, a uh, Kevin Hall comments six days ago. Yeah, apparently one of the coldest nights for me in 140 years or so at 9.2 Celsius. Nine, nine, I don't know how to pronounce it. Anymore. Anyway, with Danny being last to leave the venue around 1.30 a.m. or later after seeing a multitude of, uh, signing a multitude of autographs and pics with fans for about one and a half hour, following Paul James, who did the same with a 6 o'clock a.m. lobby call for Perth, who does that for the fans these days. Hmm. So, despite... You know, I, mean, I don't know how many musicians do that today. Like, you know, the gal they play a stage and they do they just leave or they actually, you know, what I'm saying do they actually stay and you know talk to the fans like, hey, what's up? You know, they, especially if the fans are what's making, you know, these people famous to begin with. You know what I'm saying? Um, <laughs> uh, and I just heard the most delicious news ever, and apparently it's because you know someone decided to thank Jesus for. <laughs> Receiving the Milestone Award, you know who I'm talking about. I'm not going to say his name, but I thought that was great. That little turd guzzler got booed off the stage because he said, I'd like to thank Jesus for this Milestone Award. I'm like, you should be thanking P. Diddy, you ungrateful son of a bitch. He's the dumbass that made you famous and got you all the Lambos and shit. Ugh. It's you-know-who. I'm not, it's not Voldemort either. <laughs> oh. But I feel like bitching about certain people like him, it just really contributes to his fame. It doesn't do anything good for me, it doesn't get me the fame I want, it doesn't, you know... But every once in a while it's like, oh, it just shows that people are actually starting to grow some intelligence. <laughs> wow. And it's kind of like Onis Young said, it's like, yeah, if I really pray to you, you know what I'm saying? It's just like, wow. I mean, the fact that they're giving him a milestone award is like some huge event. I don't know what the fucking deal is about it, but apparently it's major news. You could be going, oh, I'd like to thank the fans and P. Diddy for making me famous and all little girls screaming my name on concerts. And I thank you from the bottom of my, my, my heart. I really, I really appreciate it. But no, 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 no. We're going to thank Jesus because he's responsible for it. <laughs> Bullshit. And you know what? This is the ironic thing about it. Um, I was having a musical debate with my sister, and she's a One Direction fan. I'm like, no, Tiana, One Direction sucks. Cradle of Filth's where it's at, you know? And just going back and forth. And I remember in the interview with Danny Filth, how his daughter likes to listen to One Direction. And I'm like, oh, ouch. And I saw the interview and the look on his face, and he said, I'm like, yeah, that's, that's ironic. And that's when I realized that, you know, it's not going to matter shit. Because everyone thinks their opinion's right. It's not going to matter that you know you're right. You know, it's just a matter of musical taste, really. And so musicians I don't care for, and musicians I actually like to listen to. So. And when you stop to realize, you know, all the years musicians like Justin Bieber and One Direction, oh, I said his name, god damn it. Okay, you know what I'm saying? Their hate, the hate that they get, it's only making them because they don't give a shit. Some dude in his basement trolling him. Oh, they suck so much dick. I'm going to troll them because I hate them so much. They're sitting there in their $6 million match in Lamborghini going, Shh, the fuck do I care? You know what I'm saying? It's not productive. I'm not saying I sympathize with these losers. I'm just saying that if you want them to stop being famous, stop hating on them. Because ironically enough, hate has a way of... um exposing things and making things rather blown up into proportions. Um, 
And I hate using this as an example, but let's look at the Holocaust. Adolf Hitler's hatred towards Jews combined with his speaking abilities towards a huge crowd, and what do you know? Holocaust. Now, I hate using that as an example because it's really politically incorrect and kind of dark, but you get what I'm saying. Um, yeah, now, if you can direct your hate in something more positive, like the hatred towards the cruelty towards animals, for instance, or, you know what I'm saying? It's just... So, believe it or not, hate can be used for, your, for a very productive and more positive direction, but it's hatred. It's, it's an evil negative, okay? But if you take a negativity and apply something more positive, you see what I'm saying? Probably not. <laughs> and you know the thing of it is too with my autism. I get like, people that see their fans of mine, and I really appreciate that. You know, I think to myself that's cool. The night I deal with trolls who pretend to be my friends on Facebook and then they pretend to like my music just so they can laugh at me on some random blog where I'm saying, like, oh my god, this dude's so horrible. Uh, thinking to myself, oh, that's kind of mean. I mean, you know, and that's just the thing. If I don't like somebody or something, I'll say it on my own goddamn channel. I'm not going to be a little pussy and hide behind some fake ass account. You know what I'm saying? Fuck that shit. If I don't like what someone has to tell, I'll fucking say, you know, hey, I don't care what you're saying. Could you just, meh, you know. But there's a time and a place for it, you know what I'm saying? You know your job, you know the shit ton of customers, and when your coworkers pisses you off, now would not be the time to say something, you know what I'm saying? Wait till all that's done, everything's caught up, and then you'd be like, hey, look, I don't appreciate what you said, you know, that was kind of uncalled for, and you know what, I could respect your opinion as a coworker here, but right now it's not needed, and then just walk away. And if they say, sorry, it's cool, if they don't, who cares, okay? Bigger shit you worry about in your life, you gotta move on, you know what I'm saying? God. Well, I had the idea of starting my own um, musical page on Facebook, and it turns out it's not um, receiving the likes I thought I was going to receive. And honestly, I don't give a shit. I'm just there, hey, if you're a fan of music, check it out. You know, it's King Cobra's Nest, you know, pretty much just tells you what's going on in my musical career, which right now, jack shit. <laughs> I'm still working on that goddamn fifth album. So, yeah, it's a work in progress. It really is. <laughs> I go to this supposed album of mine, and we got, let's see, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 songs done so far. So, let's see what we got for songs. We got Rebirth of My Mind, Circle, Could Be Worse, Rainstorm's Negativity, King Cobra Wave, Mask of Deception, Gone, Shallow Lies, Fire, The Graveyard, Lit by Moonlit Sorrow, Schizo Love, and Iron Bird. And because I am posting this album for free, they cannot legitimately get me for copyright infringement because I'm not trying to make money off of it. Ow. Oh. <laughs> so, yeah. And believe me, with when this album takes off, I think, you know... Of course, I say that about every album I make. I get everyone all hyped up for it, and then I think, oh, it's going to be great. I'm going to be a rock star, and it's going to be awesome. I'm going to be signing autographs and playing on stage, and yeah, you know. And it turns out it's not happening so far. Hmm. Oh, well. And if it doesn't happen, oh, well. I got a job I'm good at. I work with some amazing people at Wendy's, and on top of that, I'm making some, enough money to keep myself in this apartment, so... It's better than nothing. So, like I said, it could be worse. Oh, and I could play the song. It'd be funny because, you know. That's only the first 24 seconds of it. Now imagine 17 minutes and 3 seconds of the most amazing guitar playing you've ever heard. Well, that's a bit condescending of you, Mr. Saunders. Yeah, it is. But pardon me for wanting to have passion about my music. Okay? Fuck you. 
Let's see. Iron Bird's pretty good. It's not too terribly bad. There's a couple of notes I hear that that sound really, really good. Like, I am bad. I don't know. I don't know if I can reproduce it. I'm going to play it. I'm going to play it. figure out how to make like things of my CDs where I just post the album cover and the song and then make that the video I can post that to my um, music page but at the moment um, I don't have the knowledge to make something like that Some of these songs are like, the longest song is 30 minutes long. I should say it's a song, it's a biurnal beat I made, but... Yes, I made a biurnal beat called the King Cobra Wave, and I must say, it works wonders. <laughs> this shit fucks you up. I listened to it three times while drunk, and quite frankly, it's amazing. Um, at the moment, though... Continue playing the song. Black as night. God, it's serious. Oh, I am trying to make a song while she was doing whatever I felt like doing with Garage Band. And I threw in my guitar, my keyboard, my vocals, and made something with it.
basically in the song I test out my different vocal stylings that I do. Experiment with the guitar a little bit and don't want some keyboard and, you know. So Some of that coffee to clear up my vocals. Hold on a second. No, granted, if I um, go a couple hours without tobacco, um, give my chance, my, my lungs and my throat a chance to clear up, you know. Uh, my singing does pretty good, but um, at the moment I don't feel like making music, so I don't, you know. But each song I have to prepare myself, you know, each song I have to work until it's perfect in my ears, and then only then will I post it with the album, you know what I'm saying? Um, and I could just throw it together and call it a CD, but in the past, you know, it's not. Well, as far as the most detailed album goes, I think my latest one, my the Darkness, has been my best album so far. Um, there's a bunch of songs on there I didn't post with the album, so I had to trim it down because I didn't think it would be, you know, it's just, yeah, you know. It's just a bunch of songs that people haven't even heard off the fourth album, so, yeah. Now, it'd be nice if Facebook would offer, like, a media player for your music so you can share with your fans and stuff. But uh, I don't think they have that, so yeah, sucks. But oh well. Oh, oh yeah, a cup of coffee gets gets you guys started nicely. I noticed when I'm smoking my tobacco, <clears throat> the roughness of the cigar or the cigarette or what have you actually makes that voice really scratchy versus like. Part of that too, especially you know, you just, just to sing like that. It took me years to sing like this. I actually, ironically enough, I listened to Cradle of Filth since I was in junior high, and I'm like, I want to sing like Danny Filth. It'd be so cool if I could. And it's not the best I've heard. Believe me, Danny Filth is the best, obviously. But uh, oh, it's something kind of cool when I do something like that. And then I do the uh, I sing like Green Day and Lincoln Park, and you know, I try to anyway. It doesn't always come out the best, but you know. That's life, I guess. So, I wonder. Let's see. Green Day. I cover this song way too much, but he's not a little sharp, so. Summer has come and passed, the innocent can never last. Wake me up when September ends. Like my father's come to pass, seven years has gone so fast. Seven, that's slow, yeah. Fuck. Like my father's come to pass Seven I did it again. Now it's 27. 20 comes at the end of the song, you retard. Ugh. Okay, let's try it again. Try it again. Like my father's come to pass 
Seven years has come so fast Wake me up when September ends Here comes the rain again Falling from the stars Drenched in my pain again Becoming who we are As my memory rests But never forgets what I lost Wake me up when September ends yeah, my voice is a little scratchy from the tobacco, but nonetheless, I'm actually hitting the scales. Hmm. At least I think I am. I don't know. So back here, so you guys can hear it better. I don't want that sound to bounce. Mistakes I make in the song, just probably the reason why I don't post videos like these, you know. But I'm gonna post it anyway because you can actually see that I'm kind of getting better at singing, just a little bit. Let's see. Okay, this is No Time to Cry by Credo Filth. I don't know the song entirely, but the point of this is to show off my 
my uh, shriek that I do. The ending has a really long, really, really long shriek. <clears throat> Let's see if my voice is up for it. I say it could be worse. Granted, I didn't know the entire song. I was able to get a couple lyrics in and somewhat match it with, you know, some vocals and what have you. But the ending, you know, that's improvement for me because before I couldn't do that ending. In fact, we could probably do this song better if I had the lyrics on a YouTube video. Mm. So why not give it a shot? Let's see. Born in a burial gown. It's a crazy little song. It's fucking awesome. 
And we got lyrics. All right. So help me visualize, which will make this thing easier. Right? So I'm not sure what they're saying.
Okay, the ending surprised me. I didn't think I could actually do something like that, but eh, I surprise myself sometimes. See, this is the problem making a video of so many mistakes, is that you can look at the mistakes that I made singing Green Day, or if you look at the successes I made actually doing some decent Cradle of Filth covers with Danny Phil's vocals. Wow. <laughs> yeah, that's good shit. <laughs> uh... The only problem with doing Great Love covers on YouTube is that some of them actually aren't approved for YouTube, but that one's obviously approved for YouTube, but that's going to make a lot of good video of it. So, yeah. Let's try it from Cradle to Enslave. From Cradle to Enslave. From Cradle to Enslave. <laughs> it's one of the more vulgar videos, if you will, from Gradle to Enslave, with lyrics. That works. Play the damn video. I knew there were a lot of tech jobs available out there. I knew DeVry University would give me the skills. Screw off. Who's left? Which we've just finished shooting in London. Uh, there's some beastly affairs in there. Which are all obviously safe to try at home if you'd like. Um, just a bit like this as well. Not safe to try at home. Everything's safe to try at home, really. Go on, have a go. What? Okay, I'll go get that one because that one's just been. Okay, here we go. Now she has lyrics. Cool. I don't have some files, but. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Seriously? Okay, I can't obviously do this vocal cover as good as I thought I could. Because I've actually never attempted to cover this song before. You know, I was like singing to myself personally, you know, I'm not trying to, you know, show off on YouTube and what have you, but let's listen to music, I guess. <laughs> Oh, 
Okay, so it wasn't my best cover, but there are a couple of good moments in this video, actually. You know, it did not too terribly bad, so... <clears throat> um, people want to say things like, Oh man, if you quit smoking, you wouldn't be coughing in later vocal covers. <laughs> you know what? Go fuck yourself. Okay. Music is my circle, okay? You just have a wonderful day.